it was a pretext to then move straight to bad faith smear campaign against, um, you know, Harvard's first black woman president. And, and the criticisms, um, you know, were targeted to her identity. This is higher education being attacked by mob rule. I think it's something that we should be very wary of. As CBS would like you to believe, the mob is after Harvard. And to be fair, the conservative mob, in a way, is behaving a lot like the Me Too and cancel culture mob. Conservatives, even traditional non-conservatives, just normal people, see blood in the water. The real prize in the fight over Harvard and DEI wasn't, isn't, Harvard's president, now resigned president, Claudine Gay. It's the head of Harvard's board, Penny Pritzker. She led the search to hire Gay based on diversity and race, not on merit, defended Gay, and also went after those who were rightfully reporting on gay's plagiarism. And Pritzker will once again lead the search for a new president. She's also a former Obama cabinet secretary and billionaire heir to the Hyatt hotel chain. Now it's the battle of the billionaires. Fellow Harvard alum Bill Ackman says Pritzker must go. The fish rots from the head. My words, not his. Joining me now, senior fellow at the Hoover Institute, Victor Davis Hanson. Good to see you, sir. You think I'm fair to compare how the the push now for more attacks at Harvard and for more resignations at Harvard is kind of similar to what we saw during cancel culture and Me Too? Uh, I don't really because of this. I mean, the Washington Post op-ed writers, some of them called for her resignation. The New York Times did. A lot of black intellectuals have called for her resignation. It's been it's been nonpartisan. The donors are overwhelmingly democratic to Harvard University by by it's it's about ninety to ten percent, and a lot of them have called. So this is not just there are people on the right, no doubt, that would like to see her go for you know the, their war against woke, but she plagiarized over two dozen times, and you can't have you can either be the most preeminent university in the United States or have a college president who is a plagiarist, and. That was on top of the other testimonies where in Congress she just either couldn't or wouldn't address anti-Semitism that was epidemic on our campus. And as far as being racist, we've had I at my university, we had a white male that was fired for not fully authenticating an co-authored article at Stanford University decades ago. Decades ago, white male. And, and we saw uh for President McGill of Pennsylvania resigned before she did, and she had a very impressive scholarly record with not a hint of plagiarism. So if anything, uh, President Gay lasted and uh, she she endured the now, allegations you, you get no of argument plagiarism. With me. There. I, I, you have no argument with me on President Gay. I'm thinking about now yeah. the calls for Penny Pritzker to go. Oh, and, I, well, and, sorry, I, I agree. No, I don't. I think that she's going to have to step down, you see, because for two reasons. One... When she, as the head of the Harvard Corporation, was faced with these charges, she, they created under her directorship a euphemism that said they were just duplicative language. And then when they their resigna when the resignation came out, she they called these plagiar these acts of plagiarism missteps. They created a whole vocabulary. They sick their legal term on legal team on the New York Post. They re reinvented plagiarism. They had. 700 faculty members who said that basically if you're not aggrieved, if you're plagiarized, but you're the victim and you don't press charges, that's not plagiarism. So they did all sorts of things. And now she's got a bigger dilemma. And that is, by any fair me measure, disinterested measure, you have a professor of political science in the political science department who has plagiarized on over two dozen occasions. And that would be a firing or at least a suspension for any other faculty member. So Chairman Pritzker now is in the unenviable position of legitimizing that among her faculty with the full knowledge that 40 to 50 students are expelled or suspended or reprimanded and probably three or four faculty members are every year for allegations of plagiarism that are a lot less egregious than what we know of uh, now a professor gay in the political science department. So what do they do now? Yeah, I, I don't know. I can't figure out how Harvard now, now ever punishes a, a a student for for plagiarism. They said, wait a second, you know, the the, the no, president they did it. They, she got to keep her job and now she's a professor. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. 
And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.